When you connect to Gale Access, you are actually connecting to a whole series of databases available to you through this interface. You may select the databases you want to search individually, or you can select more than one at a time. So if you scroll through some of the items that might be of particular interest to um, your search topic might become apparent. So we have things on economics and theory, communications, mass media, criminal justice. We have lots on uh, the arts and humanities and literature. So here's one on fine arts, gender studies, environmental studies. There's a whole host of different topics covered by these databases. So if you were to pick one that you're particularly interested in or a number of them that you might be interested in, you could search them together and we can do that by, uh, let's pick a couple of these on the humanities, fine arts, gender, you can do like pop culture. And what you would do then is you can go to the top with your search box and you can type in a particular topic. So let's look up something about um, protests, maybe how the arts deal with protests. When you conduct a search, you'll receive a list of results. In this case, I have uh, 61,880 magazines. If you look to the right, you'll see the different formats available to you. I have academic journals, I have some book information, news articles, and images, videos, and a few audio items. To the far right, you can filter your results to full text documents, documents that contain images. If you're using something for a speech or a presentation, you might want to do that. And you can also filter by date, subjects, document types, etc. I might be more interested or more inclined to look at academic journals for this particular search. So I'm going to select academic journals and just look at these 17,067 results. If I want to narrow this further with particular topics, I can click on the advanced search option to the right of my search box. And that will take me into a more advanced interface in which I can construct a, a more complicated search. So I may want to do protests as a keyword, and maybe I'm interested in art. I could do my search at that point, or I could scroll down and see that I have other ways of limiting as well. Sometimes starting broadly is the best way, because then you can narrow once you see the type of results you're, you're getting. In this case, I have 127 magazines, and when I go to academic journals, I see them down to uh, 26. So from here, I can look into some of these items. Let's look at the one for art. It's from Feminist Studies, and it gives me um, a little bit more information about uh, the article here, and it's found in the Gale One file under Gender Studies. The one below, it's the Fine Arts. So you can see they're integrating the different databases here. When I click on the title, I'll be taken to the item itself. In this case, it's a, it's a poster, and I can use that as a primary source. I might be able to use that, integrate that somehow into uh, a work that I'm using. So I like that I, I have not just articles, but in this case, I have a nice um, image as well. And that was published in an academic journal called Feminist Studies. If I look down below at some of these other ones, let's look at predictions, art, and the future. Okay, This is an essay. It is uh, almost 2,000 words. So it's a little bit longer as opposed to the brief article below it, which is only 172 words. The much longer essay uh, down below about optimism and rage, the women's movement in art in New York looks really good actually. I'm gonna take a look at that one, that just caught my eye. So as a longer essay, you can see that I have uh, lots of text to read and learn about. I have citations at the bottom. These are all footnotes. And then at the very bottom, I will have some source information on how to cite this in MLA, APA, et cetera. Up at the top, you'll also notice that you have a little area where you can uh, download, save a copy, you can email a copy to yourself. And there are ways that you can then keep track of this for your, uh, your research. That's a general overview of uh, the Gale databases. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're always happy to help. Take care.